after we ate, I fell asleep on my stuff on my plates. I woke up in the start. Mr. Geronimo, a voice called. It was Miss Angel Paul's. Mr. Geronimo, you um forgot to set up the bathroom, she whispered. I paled. A bathroom? Come on, we have to go. The little mice squeaked. This time, I knew exactly what to do. I called my sister. I wasn't proud. I was desperate. After all, who knew how to set up the bathroom outdoors? Of course, my sister figured it out. Half an hour later, the bathroom was finished. Then, so was I. I crawled into my Samsung bag and slept like a ten-ton brick upstairs. Jeez, even a starving mouse could move and move me. Rum, rum. The toilet. How to make a bathroom? Toilet. One. Dig a hole. Leave a big pile of dirt next to the hole. After each use, throw some pile of dirt into the hole. Two. Use some wooden pots and a tarp to build a screen around the toilet. Shower. Three. Build a tripod. Hang a bucket with waters to use as a makeshift shower. Sink. Four. Build another tripod. Place a bowl on top to wash your paws and snout. What a stink! What a smell! What a stench! I woke up in the middle of the night. An awful stench surrounded me. It smelled worse than my cousin Trump's rancid fish soup. It smelled worse than my grandmother Wilma's whiskers, disgusting Russell Sparkman play. I opened my eyes. A black and white furry creature with two big little eyes stared back at me. I jumped out of the sleeping bag, squeaking at the top of my lungs. Flashlight stepped on all over the campsite. What a stench! What a smell! What a stench! I heard the other campers cry. cry. I never breathed more. I started to chime in and let home some more voices. Where's the coming from? One said. That time bear. Another answered. That story was not from New Mouse City. The one named Geronimo's children. A third cried. He really needs to clean up this act. Someone else piled up. Yeah, the android me most of the words we have means another nut. I turned beet red. How could I talk about me that way? I know you see your mouse. I love taking bath. But there is no time to talk about the bug mess now. I have to defend myself. I'm not the stinky one. I start to explain. This the creature. He has black fur with a white stripe. Punk was snippered. Uh, what creature? I don't see any creature. He smirked. Then he began to sing with a high pitched voice. Geronimo sees in the dark a slug, a squirrel, a giant shell. Benjamin grabbed my paws. Uncle, did you really see a creature? He whispered. And I nodded. He softly remembered the torch guy. I guess he was pretending to be a good man. I couldn't blame him. Everyone thought of me losing my whiskers. At that moment, Benjamin began squeaking. He's held up a book. He showed a picture of the creature. See, my uncle is right, my nephew told Pongrat. The creature he saw is called a skunk. A skunk is a mammal in the Orisma family. It has the thick black coat with white stripes. It lives in woody areas and these in insects, small mammals, and fruit to protect itself from predators. It uses the unique system.